everyone and welcome to Admister Studios. This channel is dedicated for learning Angular. I created certain videos to help you create a website in Angular 6. Now Angular had progressed a multifold and now the latest version is Angular 17. So in this video we are going to do the same exercise but this time with the latest version of Angular that is version 17. So let's see how it goes. There are tons of benefits of using the latest Angular version. At the same time, it is feature packed. We will explore some of the features and some of you have pointed in the comments that they are not able to find the modules. So there is a different approach we use in Angular 17 and we are going to explore that. So let's do the hands-on and you will understand it better. Uh, let me show you the version of node I am running right now. So version I have is version 20 and let's create our website. So I'm going to name is name the project as website, ng new website. Feel free to rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to select CSS because it's already prepared and ready. Uh, I'm not enabling server side rendering right now, but we can do this later on. We'll see how to do it. Now this is going to take some time, so have some patience. We'll wait for it to complete. We'll go step by step. It's almost done. Okay, we're good to go. Let's open this in our editor. We'll go to open folder. I have this folder in D drive, D studio and website. Now what we are going to use is the same template. This is the free template that I'm going to use. You can download the same from onepagelove.com slash namari. I already have this downloaded and in fact I've copied this to template folder. So there here it is. I'm going to open this in, a, in Notepad++, another text editor. So <clears throat> what we'll do is everything within the head I will copy as it is. And I will go here in my text editor, go to source and go to index. And you'll see the head looks pretty much the same. Everything is almost the same. The only difference here is base href. So I'm going to keep this. I'll copy everything here. I have title. I can remove this title you want to keep that title is all up to you let's change this to admister studios okay we are good let's remove this repeated parameter okay the next thing we want to do is we want to move everything like font and all the images within this asset folder so I'll go to template, we'll copy these four folders from here and we'll go to website, source, assets and copy all the folders. here. Now accordingly I will change the path in the template. So here mm, okay so I'm going to press ctrl shift L and it gives me multi-liner cursor so uh, that's css style.css so it's changed already let's save this now let's also start the server so I'm going to run ng serve to see how the website looks like Okay, we'll have to go to the folder. Now it should work. Here it is. We should get the updated website look here. Currently we have not changed anything. It should pretty much look the default website. 
let's see how it looks oh still progressing building it becomes far much easy when you are able to look at the, f the website in real time and see how it is reflecting so let's load this page okay so this is pretty much the default that we get when we do the engine now let's change this to this we're doing this we'll go back to our original template now let's start copying things from inside the body from body let's copy the preloader and the four borders which are there in the original layout we'll go back to our text editor so here inside body you can copy this to app root so within the app root we will leave the preloader so what would happen is okay just the preloader so till the time it is loading it will show you the preloader animation and I'll copy this above the app root so this is outside the app root okay good enough now we have this wrapper let's copy this wrapper in body so wrapper currently has just these borders then let's see what else do we have we got header we got main content and we got footer so everything is in the main content so okay first let's copy everything for within the wrapper till footer end of footer copy and we are going to keep this inside our app root now app root is the place wherein all the magic happens so everything that we am going to put here inside app component dot html this is my first component okay we'll go to the definition later but as of now I've already only copied, copied the text in the template here so everything in this template will be reflecting in my website okay okay I see an image okay I see some of the images and I can see the icons as well so everything is pretty much working because we made the changes now let's make these uh, images visible so for images what we have is path needs to be updated so we'll press select it control H and replace this with source oh, sorry assets so one step of slash asset slash images and then slash let's do it one by one mm, okay so we changed all the images uh, links now let's change this one too so it is exactly the same instead of SRC we have HREF so HREF replace 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 and replace so we're good let's save this okay it's fixed everything now we are able to see all the images fonts are also visible but if you see if I click on this image it is opening in a different is retracting to a different page and we want it to show the original uh, behavior if I click in this is the original template so if I click here 
it shows me the small little effects wherein I can navigate between the images let's close this now how to bring that effect here why is it not working okay here in this file we need these javascripts site lightbox images so once these would start working things would start shaping taking shape here so inside body in the index page I'm going to save this and let's refresh and see no it's not loading let me just try restarting the server once see if it is working oh well let's start this and we need to change the path so control shift L let's change the path to we are in index so just step assets and then I can remove this space so now this is the correct path we should be able to find the files now let's serve it once again and see okay it has reloaded oh we can see the effect see and if I click the images we have these effects available okay border is also working and everything is working let's look at the URLs URLs are also working properly we have actually converted our website in a angular application it's pretty straightforward right but let's look at the functionality that we want to add so what I want is instead of after I click home after I click about it it is scrolling down to that section same thing is for gallery services testimonial it's a good feature right should not be a problem now we want to achieve two things one is I should be able to change this data I should be able to make these changes somewhere in some central configuration so if I make changes to configuration it should automatically update my website so making it easy for me to update and the second thing is I want to uh, convert each section as a separate component so that when I click it should be able to show and refresh right within this area I don't have to scroll it's all up to you how you want to do it it's good enough to deploy this website right now we'll see both the things first let me show you how to create a component and let's separate these things into different components okay and for that I have another okay let's go to this website CLS and now what do we have to do is ng create component or I can use this command ng c for create g for generate me g for generate oh sorry ng generate component generate c for component now I have to specify the path so I want to do this inside the component so by default it would create these files under source but I want to separate them under a, another folder called components see components and let's create the first component header okay let's create the second component so let me take information from here we'll go up uh, we have a header component we got a navigation component so let's create a navigation component NAV 
okay next let's scroll down and I have introduction and the ID is content about so let's create the about section then we will create gallery then let's create services so here the services the section we're creating a component with the name services then let's create testimonial testimonials okay then clients and then pricing pricing okay so you're done creating components let's head back to our editor and now I'm going to copy things step by step from app component uh, let's say this is for gallery so let's cut it from here and okay here is our folder okay got asset within app we got components here and we got gallery in gallery dot html so this is the template file we'll copy it here save let's close this next is services so we'll go to services services start services end copy it here from here go to services template make it save oh okay we'll save it next coming on to testimonials okay end of testimonials control x mm. testimonials html save uh, next let's copy the client section HTML save close this now pricing we are at the end of pricing block no, no, no. control Z here is the end of pricing completely okay so going back to browsing surprising is now a separate component now we are left with close this now here we are left with uh, main under main we got introduction we got this is our section introduction section and then I have uh, the icon this is the uh, text and here Okay, let's copy this introduction section. Okay, about in about. So here we go for about. Let's close this. Now here is the header section. So this is the banner content. This is the header, and within header we also have navigation. So we want to separate this navigation okay this navigation from the header so let's copy this navigation separately and I have got social icons also let's copy these social icons also separately and we got logo also these are the images so again it is part of 
so from here this is the navigation complete navigation okay now let's cut it okay what did i cut okay let's look at it like this we have header and we got banner section banner is definitely what i need okay then within this section i have the complete header part so let's cut this complete from here we'll go to nav where is the navigation here's the html let's copy it here and save and whatever we have here i'll copy it to header okay okay we'll also remove this introduction section i just want to leave main here oh footer is also there we missed to create one for footer let's create footer as well while it is happening we'll copy html here we got banner saving this navigation closing this and finally footer I want footer from here in the newly created footer footer where is here it is so we are set let's save this component now if you see within this app component we got nothing but just the main so with this in place do you think it will show you any content no as expected it is all blank now let's start adding our components to this in order for me to be able to add components i need to import those components so remember in the previous versions hmm, let's go to app component .ts. now here you see a new uh, parameter here standalone now standalone is set to as true if I set this as false that means this a component is not alone as part of a module which was the default approach previously now starting version 14 they emphasized to use the version uh, this true uh, flag for standalone option that gives you much better flexibility it's much easy to maintain you don't have to get into complexity of module simple all you have to do is import whatever you need here directly so a component can directly import other component and you don't need to do anything else so all do i have to do is i have to start importing header component done import uh, uh what was it introduction sorry about about component import uh, clients import pricing import testimony testimonial import what else was there uh, let's look at the name of the components we have about we got clients we got gallery okay gallery G -A. gallery component let's import navigation import 
services component import uh, header we did testimony services pricing header gallery footer okay let's import footer footer component so we are done we have imported everything right okay now with this import I can use these here so same names here a component about component okay I can use it in the next line clients clients component Pricing component, testimony, gallery, navigation, and services, and footer. Okay, so we are done. So for readability, let me add this to new line. I think it looks okay. So we'll save this. And now I have to use it in my template. So we'll go to the HTML template. Within the main, what do I need? First of all, I need a navigation component on the top. So in order to call them, the name is app-nav. Okay. I want this to be followed by app hyphen one header I can change the sequence also if I want the contents to go up testimony to go up I can do that too let's go to a byte but first of all let's maintain the sequence we'll do the experimentation a little later uh, then I think gallery was there after gallery I want hmm? uh, okay what was there Okay, let's add testimony. Uh, services, okay, let's add services. Let's add clients. Let's add testimonials. And then finally, we'll add footer. okay let's save this and let's revisit so we have our navigation bar which is fixed and everything is working as what we need can go up all the icons are visible now we could oh uh, you can pretty much change anything about this template it is just an example you can try with some new example or maybe follow the video as it is step by step and see if you are able to achieve the same set of results. I hope this video is going to help you get started with the latest version of Angular 17. We are definitely going to uh, explore this. Now, if you compare it with the version 6, there are so many things that which are simplified. So, without taking much of your time, I would like to conclude this video here and in the next video, we will segregate, we will separate the data from our components and we will keep it separately in just one single configuration file. I will not compli complicate the situations for you. We will definitely see how to do an API call. That's a little tedious, but we will still do that. Okay, obviously we want to learn. But for the time being, let's keep it simple. A website with a separate configuration file which has got all the data at one place and your application is pretty much just a static website thank you for watching and I wish this helped more people and see you in the next video where we'll do the rest of the things we discussed thank you bye bye